Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in our Goldcrest Valley map, and something has changed from last episode till now. We've actually got something to harvest. Our barley has come in, and the canola came in over there. And our our uh, striped field over here has gone up another stage. We've got uh, one section over there that is one stage ahead of this side over here, but... It'll look funny for a while, it'll look like it's needing a, a haircut, but for now, let's jump into this. Yeah, I think we'll do the barley first. Get over here and we'll run a couple rows ourselves just to just to get the experience, but then we'll switch it over to a harvest or to a hired hand and and let's see B. There we go. Let's go outside and see if that lines up. Now, really hard to tell from the inside, at least for me. There we go. I hired hand before long. I'll grab the trailer and unload this guy, and we'll get all the process going. Get the baler out, clean up all the uh, uh, the straw that's being left behind, and then get a cultivator in there and and uh, figure out what seed we want to use. And while all that's happening, we'll jump over there and do the same thing. All right, see if I can stay at the edge of that from in here. It's got a little bit of drift built in. You, if you can imagine some uh, invisible rows out there. You can get a half a row inward and still catch the, uh, the crops out there. But there's also a chance you're going to miss some of it. But we won't... Well, we can tell from the mirror there we missed a little bit. Swing this guy around. Actually, that was the wrong button. Try that one. Well, okay, let's try reverse. <laughs> oh, buttons. Too many of them. There we go. That one. And go. One thing about the hired hand, I do it so much more professionally. Let's go ahead and get them going. Okay, let's go grab a trailer, and we'll, we'll grab the like the Massey Ferguson, our our better tractor, and the the newer, larger capacity trailer. We should actually get quite a few uh, loads out of there, as far as uh, the combine filling up. When we first started the game, this is the field that uh, that was ready to harvest, right in the original tutorial phase, and two passes or two combines full is all that this would give us. But there was no additional fertilizing or plowing done at that time. I would imagine we'll get, I don't know, five or six maybe combines full out of this field because of all that we've added to it. We've, we've essentially doubled it. Boy, I feel, felt like I was really, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Oh, I'm stuck, come on. There we go. Just felt like I was so low walking up to this thing. Am I really the height of that tire? I mean, it's possible. I've seen some really tall tractor tires. Hmm. Anyway, start you up. Yeah, let's jump into cab view. Let's go grab the trailer. So I'm thinking two full passes up there and he'll be full. Let's see, he may keep us on our toes. And the one with the white cover there. We're heading for centered uh, there. There we go. End for cover. There. Let's head out there. I'm going to turn my own volume up a little bit. I'm not hearing the tractors that much. Uh, 
Now, which way is he going? Going up this way. I'm going to pop into the harvester and just see how full he is. We're at 56%. Okay. So that will allow him to come all the way down, turn around, and come back to us again. So next we want to get the... Well, we'll go ahead and empty them, and then we'll run out, grab a tractor, and the baler. And we'll start baling these as all this else, all the rest of this is going on. See how much we can multitask here. And as few as have been missed. I just might let these go. You should go back and clean it all up, but we've done a pretty good job. Only one or two here and there. So we can get the cultivator going fairly quickly. The one thing I don't have is a bale trailer, a bale collector. I'm used to using the square bales and the square bale collector. Trying to remember if there is a round bale collector. You are a bale collector right there. 39,000. I actually like that. Let's let's do that. We'll run out there and get that here in a little while. That would make this job so much easier. Okay, let this guy get going. He's going nine miles an hour, so let's preemptively set our cruise control down to nine. At least it was going nine for me. Don't know if it will do that with the... Uh, Actually, six miles an hour. Wait till we get a little bit further ahead and hit there. Now we're at six. Wait here at the end. He'll go ahead and empty himself out. Take off this direction, give him room to turn around. And let's just park that one. Uh, we'll, we'll head down to the end here, because we'll, uh, one, two, three, four, we got five rows out of that. And keep that in mind. We get to, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine? I'm trying to think of the right orientation. He's on six now, so seven, eight, nine. When he gets to row nine, he'll be needing us again. Let's turn this off and jump into another tractor and race out there and get that that uh, bale trailer, or bale collector, I guess we'll call it. I don't know what the official name is. We'll check that out in a bit. Which one? I don't think there's any need for anything else in the front. Let's grab this guy. See if we can get back in time to empty the, the harvester. And I don't think that I will be in the way here, but let's just make sure that I'm not, he's not going to back up to turn around. There. does he do it? He goes that way, he backs up this way. Yeah, I think we would have been fine. Okay, let's race out here. What if the pickup could have brought the trailer home? I don't remember there being a three-point hitch on it. It's very possible. Over there. 
I'm going to think about these two fields here, this one and this one. They're definitely close enough to uh, make it easy. And this road right here I found goes right into the sheep uh, pen area. So we can go come out of the sheep right into this area next to the uh, the building there that we don't know what it is, kind of a Grange Hall sort of look. that crop? That's corn as well, isn't it? Yeah, younger stage. We're clear? We're clear. Here's our whatever it's called. Let's, let's figure out what that's called. I want to call it a bale trailer, but but there actually is something called a bale trailer. So, bale collector, is that? We'll find out. And it is a No, it's not a ball hitch either. I see. That's what that device is. I'm not sure what this kind of hitch is called, but it allows it to mount over the ball and then it's pinned from the top. So it would work on a ball. Okay. Interesting. That's the uh, the kind of hitch that ha is in the back of the Manitou. Like a, uh, a hole and pin. I'm not sure exactly what the term is for that kind of hitch. Anyway, shop, what is this guy called? So that's the what I would think of as the bale trailer. Yeah, bale trailer. So what is this guy called? It is a bale collector. Okay. So we got our terminology right. Back, back, and go. Clear. Yep. Gotta race out there and see if the combine is still running. Hopefully he is. And hopefully he's on the correct side of the uh, of the crop, so I don't have to drive through the crop to get get it unloaded. So he's heading down the other direction now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We may be too late. We'll see if he's still got any capacity left for row number eleven. His beacon is flashing, but his tube is not out. I think beacon flashing means he's almost full. But tube out, at least before, always came out whenever we were at like ninety percent capacity left or 90% filled. So... Good, he's gonna make it. Let's circle back over there. Start emptying him out as soon as possible.
hit the cruise control the first time and it didn't take. So our trailer is going to be nearing capacity here too. So we'll need to take this one in and dump it. We'll just head to our silo and dump it this time. Uh, let's do... Let's back off and see if we can... Oops! Pull off the front of the trailer a little bit. The graphics show it's spilling out the side, but actually it's it's counting all of it within the trailer. Alright, he's done. So this is barley. A little bit darker color to it than I remember from previous versions. It's like they've done a... Uh, They've gone to an effort to make it look different from wheat. Before, they looked pretty similar. And I think I've got to go this way, or was there a path below there? No, that seemed to end. Ah, here's where I need to go. What side are we tipping? Uh, tip side back. Yep, that works. What is tip now? Unload is I. Used to be Q last round, last game. 20 in uh, Farming Simulator 15. Which was a little confusing because Q is used for other things, so you're always kind of unsure if you. We're still driving up to it and thinking that you were going to start tipping, you know, like right here to get the tipping started as you're racing into it, it would disconnect the trailer because Q is also disconnect. So it was a little confusing, so I see they got rid of that confusion by giving it a whole new uh, symbol or number, but uh, now I don't know which it is. It's not uh, ingrained in the memory. Alright, let's get back over there and... What do I want? I want that one. Park this guy for a few more rows. Probably lining up for about there. And let's... Not that one. Let's grab the baler. And probably the other case tractor. Though, you know, this guy's a smaller engine, but he should do it just fine. Let's do this. Baler's over there. Easier when I'm in the cab. There we go. Cannot see it. Now let's go back out. There we go. Oh, these roofs are so tough. I know that there's a mod out there that gets rid of this camera jumping when you get into this into the, the rafters. But I'm real hesitant to jump into Okay, I'm going to get in cab into uh, third-party party mods that aren't uh, part of Giant. As far as Giant uh, placing it right there on, on the main menu. So Q, no, a little further. There we go. All right, let's race out here. I don't want to break a game save for a game that I'm doing a series on just for something that's convenient, but may or may not be fully compatible or compatible with updates that Giant suddenly puts out that uh, the other modders don't uh, know about or aren't expecting. Okay, so let's get where I can see what I'm doing here. V and B, and in there, there we go. And I'm kind of keeping track or trying to think about where I need to be with the harvester. I think we've got two more rounds with him. Back up and, and back again. Before we need to worry about it. There's a lot here. We're already at 3,000 in the baler. These are some dense piles. Now we could bring the windrower out and combine these into, uh, into even denser piles. Let's see, what do I want? Why? Yeah. 
That's not what I wanted. So I gotta back up beforehand. And it looks like I didn't miss any. big pile there at the end. Can you handle it? Yep. Alright, let's hit down. I'm hitting down three rows. One, two, three. That's this guy. Seems like a good spacing to make a turn. Well, he's close and noisy, isn't he? Let's get out ahead of him. This row doesn't have as much in it. I think I will intentionally not head that direction just because of the noise. So we'll head into this guy. But it's time for me to jump into that guy right there and go unload the combine. Other than filling up gas um, in the pickup truck just to see how that worked, we have yet to actually refuel any vehicle. So it does take quite a while to, to run them out of fuel. Right in here. There's the cruise control, and there we go. Got away from the noise a little bit. So let me know how, uh, oops, in his way, stop uh, talking. There we go. Anyway, let me know how the noises are, the, the volumes, the, the different uh, sound aspects. I've got available my voice sounds versus the equipment sounds versus the uh, uh, environmental sounds. You can still hear the birds chirping and I can, I can hear them from here. Pretty sure they come across well in the videos. Right, he's done. The only sound that I can't eliminate is that harvester when you're outside of it. The tractors seem to be just about right. I wish they could be louder, but I'm worried that there are times when my voice gets drowned out. But I haven't figured out exactly which one turns down that harvester. I should run it at 10% once and see if the harvester is suddenly, you know, more pleasing. Anyway, park him. Why are you at such a strange angle? I guess there's a bump right there. Huh. Alright, let's build some more. I don't know if we can uh, hire anyone for either the baler 
or the Veil Collector? I don't believe so. No, not in that one. Alright, what do I want here? B? Yeah. So let's clean up this end. Collect these. And then we'll get the, uh, uh, the cultivator going. Looks like each row is pretty equally 4,000 one bale's worth, because they're all landing here in the middle, aren't they? Looks like they planned it that way. So, two more passes on that combine. That's what I'm looking for. So that makes it very convenient to pick the bales up. We'll zigzag through the middle here. Much quieter in cab. Now one thing about making these videos compared to most of my other series is that there's a tremendous amount of editing involved. Trying to clip out scenes that may be boring where you're just going back and forth and back and forth over the same field or or you know, just anything that doesn't feel realistic or, or, uh, or uh, something that's distracting. So I'm going to try this time to be able to leave everything in. I think when we're doing our own fields, that seems appropriate. Contracting others, it gets a little tiring to, to be doing the same thing for 50 passes, especially those bigger fields. But this one is ours. We want to experience the whole thing. Alright, I want to see this from here. It's not my tractor lining up, it's actually the baler lining up, so it's a little tougher to not miss anything. Now, where are you at? You're there. Don't know if I can get back in time, but I might. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's... run this guy out over here. Let's go unload him. Didn't want to get to the other end because it's a long run back. Wonder if he would have enough to finish that. Let's see if he's going to uh, be wide enough to take the whole thing at once. If he is, I'll leave him alone. No, he's going to make another pass. All right, let's go unload him. It's a little bit of practice to be able to land in the right spot, hit the cruise control, and have it all line up. When I'm playing the game for myself and playing for hours on end, it becomes second nature. When I'm running it for one hour every other night or something like that, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't become habit forming as as much as as I would like. So it takes me a while now to get used to the controls again. I think I am not going to wait for him to finish emptying. Now well, he's finished anyway. But I've got to empty him one more time anyway from that last little bit there, so... May as well just park this down here at the end. Actually, we can park it... 
here in the middle is fine too. Coast to a to a stop here. Okay. Let's get a couple more rows of this done. Then we'll get the cultivator going. Well, we get the the bale collector going, and then the cultivator. So we'll drop this. Yeah, right here is good. Thinks he's done. So we've got to go get him started again. Actually, we'll we'll ignore it. I'll go run that manually. We'll get this row here. Then we'll get the uh, all the other processes started. Because the bale collector. At least the round one, I think only holds eight. Might be ten, but I'm I'm remembering eight from watching Daggerwind play this. He was using it for grass uh, silage bales rather than what we're doing. But same concept, same shape. And let's go ahead and just finish off this bale. This guy right down below where the uh, the tractor is. Uh, v and B. Get my speed up. Turn off the equipment. Right in there. Okay. And let's do this first, and we'll see if we can end it somewhere near the combine, and then go jump into the combine and finish that. All right, what does V do here? Nothing, what does B do? There we go. So it's gonna grab it and then flip up into there and then a whole bunch of animations will happen in here to stack it. It's real fun to watch. So again, I'm used to the square version of this. It'll be the first time I've ever used the round one. And I believe that we are meant to grab it from the end over here. It'll probably do it both way, either way, but let's see what it does. So it wants to be grabbed from the end. So realistically, it's asking for this. But you can, while I'm doing this, you guys can watch the. Uh, there we go. How the animations work. I'm trying to do this slowly. It does that? It slides the whole thing back. And then that rolls forward and waits for the next two. So, is that a 10 or an 8? No, let's find out. Looks like a 10. Well, that's only half a row, though. So it's considered done. Okay. So B brings it back up. Where do we want to place these? We're going to use them where? We're going to use them at the pig farm. We could put one stack at the pig farm. We're not ready for it yet, but we could, we could store it there. Let's go do that. I think I'm going to record two episodes tonight. See how much of this we can get done. And that way I don't have to cut anything out. We can see the whole process. But let's try about the pig farm. See, see how, how badly I stack these things. <laughs> but this trailer, we get inside where it's quieter. This trailer will actually stand it up vertically and place it on the ground in a vertical stack. Which makes it a pain in the butt to 
hook it with a forklift and get it off that stack without knocking it all over. But it does store it in a very compact manner that way. Wow, this trailer, this tractor was almost a mistake for, for this job. We needed Massey Ferguson for this. Yeah, I like that though. I like the realism of it. I didn't like in Farming Simulator 2013 how you could take a, a tractor that was way too small for the job and still overwork it like that. This one is letting you know that you really need to be saving up for a new tractor soon. That's good to see. And after we get there, it's all downhill from then. So no problem. Though we won't be bringing another load up here. Now you can roll this right into your barn and use it as a sell point. Sell them off that way. Alright, pig farm is over here. Here's our, our sheds. And I'm going to pop out where I can see what I'm doing. Boy, I wish they hadn't placed that one there. That's a tight little turn. So, what is the plan here? Do we have enough height in there? You know, we might not. Interesting. What if I tried to put it just inside the entrance? So, this way... this way and try to ease out of it before we hit that middle wall there. Right there. Something like that. Okay, bring that forward. Alright, I think I have enough height there. That's what I'm debating. Let's find out. Now, it used to be O. What have we got now? Operating position is B. Yeah, they've changed. No, that's, no, that's operating. Unload is Y. Yeah, that used to be... I'm pretty sure it used to be O. Forward, forward, the other forward. There we go. Get rid of that thing out of our view. And our height is fine. All right, so I'm thinking about storing that there. Now, do I hit Y again? I do. Careful. Let's move the other forward a little bit. There, okay. Y. Forward a little more. And we're clear. And they're doing a little bit of wobbling there. And B. And there are. It's doing it by itself. Okay. So that's the idea, and that's how that guy works. Now it's, it seems like the uh, the square one is more stable. I'm just. I guess I'm just used to it. All right. Let's get back and pick up those last few bales. Go this way. The road is clear. Come in the other route. Getting pretty used to this map now, getting it memorized. So I've taken the time or the speed down to one for one real time so we can get all this done. That way it's not. Uh, running through the night trying to go back to it or trying to finish it in the dark, which makes it hard to record. So once this is done, we'll switch it to maybe up to 5 speed. Now, I don't know how to really label those speeds, but up to the number 5. Is that 5 times real time? Maybe that's a way, a way to do that, 5 times. So every second is 5 seconds, every minute is 5 minutes. That's probably a more realistic time setting to leave it on for the rest of the series so that we can get through more days. I mean, it's, it is interesting to, to watch things change, see the weather change, and what have you. Alright, B brings this guy down. Let's see if we can do this from the cab for the rest of these. What is it, like three more? This may or may not be that easy. Let's see if I bring it right next to the tires. That's what I need, right near the tires. Alright, we'll come in from this direction here. It is 
difficult to see this from, from the cab. There are too many blind spots. Okay, let's go put this guy aside. And, um, actually, let's drive this over toward the combine. We'll just leave it right here. And we'll go clean up that last row and, yeah, maybe go catch those last couple. We'll see. Actually, if I can get back over here, we can add our straw trail to the other one and make it a little easier to bail it. I believe when I'm done, if I just stop for a second, it'll dump all the straw into one pile. I think that's what the piles are there at the ends of the rows. Rather than trail it off down the road as I'm heading back. No, I'm not going to head to those. There's so few over there. In the interest of time, we'll just pretend that we did. Alright, you know, I never did bring that up. It should have been higher. Oh well, we're done. Turn that off. And O for the pipe. should see in the mirror. There's no mirror that shows that. Hmm. Just have to trust it's out there. So I've only got 102 units in here. I'm assuming that means liters. Okay. Let's... Actually, let's take this to the... Uh, oh, lost the word. That field over there. Canola. Oh... get that one started. Where am I at? 45 minutes? Ah, we can squeeze a little more out of this. You know what? Maybe I won't. Let's turn this guy and put him in position. Then let's go clean up some more of that, uh, of that hay. Something like that. Alright. Let's go finish off over here. I don't... Well, if I don't have the combine to worry about, I may be able to keep up with the cultivator. Let's see if that's possible. Put a hired hand in there and just go crazy with the, uh, the bailing. And this is why it's so nice to hang on to these extra tractors. There are times when you'll have five or six of these running simultaneously. Uh, combine. We're way up there with it. And this old case tractor still has enough poop to, to handle that, so... No, it doesn't. We got the better combine. That's right. Now, yeah, we're gonna have to swap out with the Massey Ferguson. I don't think it will pull that thing. In fact, we bought that com... We bought this tractor to handle that combine in the plow. That's right. So, Q... Let's do this. Uh, not the plow. There we go. So just to verify, we won't need any plowing. Even though we have uh, harvested, we do not need plowing like the rest of these do. So we can get three yields out of this plowed field before we need to do anything with that. All right. And right there. So this guy I don't think I can keep up with. I think that's pretty obvious. I was thinking of the little one. This is much bigger. say that it's only one meter wider isn't it but still it's gonna out, it's gonna outrace me 
Alright, so I think the goal is to do this next episode while we are doing the canola. And let's just concentrate a little more on, on bailing for now. Something like that. Okay, so that is sitting there. Let's get back to bailing. Grab this one while we're here. Down there in the bottom right, we're coming up on 2,000. So a bale is 4,000. see in the mirrors that the door is opening and closing. It's a shame that the mirrors don't show you your equipment. Alright, looks good back there. I don't see anything else we've missed on this side of the field. I wish there was a way to disable the alarm on this. If I was out there for real and, <laughs> and owned this thing, I'd be sniffing a wire. That's annoying. Without stopping for the combine, I think we can finish this off this episode. I see that the baler was turned a little bit, it hadn't fully straightened out. That's why I could see it on the mirror that time. There, now we're in a drone flying above. If you hit every third row, it's a pretty good turning radius. Is that the third one? That's right there. Okay. There it rolls. <laughs> yeah, we'll find that somewhere over by the garage one day. Down into the dust. <laughs> Where next? Let's clean up this edge over here. This slower and see if we can do it all in one pass. Gotta kind of straddle things here to do that. Kind of like that. Is that gonna do it? It seems to be. Yeah, I'm getting it. You get good at this if you use a foraging wagon to go collect grass. Take that into uh, to be silage. All the different rows that you've that wind road and uh, all the different paths around trees and odd shapes and trying to 
pick the path that collects everything the you know the least amount of movement. Well, I guess I'm going for that one. Half a tank of gas on this one, this tractor. And we're hitting both ends of the, the rows this time. It's not working out as well. All right, let's clean these up. Grab this end of the pile, or a pile at the end there. Oh, missed a spot. Let's see if that changes where these start to land. Yeah, it's a skinny little row. Probably not going to. I'm still going to end out there at the end. Quite a bumpy ride. What's that, uh, what is that called? Ground, ground response. Looking down at my notes and hearing the beeping. Thought it was time to stop. There we go. That's something we haven't done. Let's watch, uh, see if I can drive forward, backwards. So there's what it looks like from inside the cab. Here I am. All right, what do we got outside? So we're going this way now. All right, two more rows. Line up there. That's looking pretty good. We can look back here for a while and see the animations. The belts are rolling right up in there. about something though. Hopefully we do because I'm going to try a little experiment. All right, pick you up and dump you. I saw a tiny bit of grass left where we mowed back behind us. Now we've got 748 liters, I'm guessing, of straw in here. What happens if you need to use this on grass next? If I hit grass, will that symbol for a, for a bale, a straw bale, shift to a grass pile? Let's find out what happens. Will it register... Actually, hay. That was hay. So will it register the last known substance put in as the identifier for what's inside? It did. Went to 757, and now we have a hay bale. Interesting. I suppose someone could really game the system with that if they chose to. If you want, if you want uh, only hay but don't have it, just have some scraps left over, you can get 99% straw and then, and then grab some hay and then dump out a hay bale. <laughs> okay. 
let's we're done with this for now the canola does not harvest in the same way so we're not going to get straw out of that let's put him away where's my timing coming up on an hour tell you what let's just park this guy and tab over to him collect these really quick so I can call this episode done Where are we going to dump these? Let's sell these. That's about what we'll have time to do. Yeah, that's not going to work. There we go. Have you and one more. Boy, it's a shame we couldn't get this last one. Alright, let's race out here. Now, I could stand it up into the barn, or I'm pretty sure I could just drive it in. But we'll back it up and stand it up. Hmm. So we'll go this way. Now. Fishtail this thing all the way in there. Yeah, let's recover from that one. Sometimes you can go too far and there's just no recovering from it, so you gotta you gotta pull out. That, let's see, a little further. Like that. That ought to do. Okay. So what was it? Why? Why? So we got four hundred and fourteen thousand. See what eight bales make for us. Let's back up a little bit further. When we hit Y again and it releases, that should sell it. There we go. So what was that? Eight times two fifty. So let's see why. Is that fifteen hundred? Two fifty. Yeah, fifteen hundred. And I think that will pull up on its own, right? It will not. Yes, it will. Okay. Let's collect these last ones and call this episode done. I'll leave these on the trailer. We'll decide another time whether we're going to just get rid of these or not. It really depends on what we're going to plant next. We're going to get more uh, straw out of it. Oh, I see. We're waiting for the mechanism to, to reset. And there's one more up there. And we're struggling uphill. Yeah, it was good we didn't start the canola. Freed me up to finish this. Alright, so we'll get the cultivator going in here next time. And let's pull this guy in. There we go. And we'll get the combine going down there. We'll haul all the canola. And decide what to do with the hay. Yep, fun times. Stop right there, kill it. And I will catch you next time, folks. Thanks much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would. Bye.